Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Tutelage.com. And uh, today we would be creating our login script mechanism. So uh, the reason we are creating the login page because uh, we don't want everyone to come to our site and just keep on sending newsletter to anyone they want. We only want the register and the verified users to be able to send uh, newsletters if they want. So for that, uh, very first we need a table called users with the field of only sex. So we need an ID field, a name, their email, password, and uh, after that uh, we need the sign up date when they are going to sign up with us or actually not the sign up the login date the last login they did so login date i believe that is all we need we need only five fields not six so this would be integer this one would be a varchar the email would be varchar password would be varchar as well so the name would be say 100 characters long the email would be 150 password would be Mm, 50 I believe and the date would be the date time format okay just down here for the ID I'm just gonna make it primary key and the auto increment and I'll save the entire table so we don't need six we need only five yep that is done and uh, for the testing or the tutorial purposes I'll insert one user so I'll say admin admin at the rate admin.com the password would be admin and the login date is today okay guys if you want you can create a user registration page but uh, I'm not going to do that in this video series I'll just make a user for the dummy purposes now we need a login page so I'll come out here I'll create a new file called login.php okay login.php and I'm not going to write anything in this page what I'm going to do is I'll take all the HTML markup for our earlier signup.php page okay so I'm going to open the signup.php page with my editor that is gedit I'll copy the entire HTML and I'll paste it to login.php. Just we need to modify some fields out here. So we don't want any name. We want the person email to let them log in. And the name would be equal to email. The ID would be equal to email as well. And then we need their password. Okay, so this would be equal to password. I'll copy and paste it everywhere and then what type would be password as well okay and we don't need this paragraph tags because they are not signing up they are already a registered member and they want to send the newsletters here I have to say uh, get element by ID password and this would be equal to password as well okay so this is email and here we need to pass some different parameters we have to say password and password as well I believe that's all for this and just go ahead and look at this particular file in the browser so this is our signup.php page and I'm going to open login.php Okay, guys, it's uh, same to that one. Just it have an email and a password field where we can enter our email and password, and then we would be redirected towards the main page from where we can create or we can send the newsletters. <coughs> but right now we have to create one more file, I believe, and that would be our not in the includes folder. Actually, we want to go to the scripts folder. And here I'm going to create a file called login script.php 
and here I'll open the PHP tag first we want to include the connection file to make the connection to our database and here I'm going to say if dollar post only if there is a request coming from that page then only go ahead and, and include that file or do anything else until and unless there is no respect I'm um, sorry no request do not make any connections so I'm going to say dollar email would be equal to dollar post email and uh, dollar password would be equal to dollar underscore post password and uh, then I'm going to say SQL would be equal to my SQL query uh, okay then select all from users okay where email is equal to the dollar email they are going to put and the password field would be equal to the password they are going to put so if they both matches to each other then go ahead and log in them otherwise just throw an error message or die mysql error okay then i uh, just want to perform a check i'm going to say dollar num would be equal to dollar mysql numbers so what this is going to do it's going to find how many rows have been affected with our uh, earlier query so we are running this query that is dollar sql and here we are going to find out how many rows we uh, have been affected so i'm going to say if the affected rows are equal to one okay then do something else do something else okay else we are going to echo invalid credentials okay uh, just just this one out guys and see how it's working so i'm going to refresh the page and i'll not going to put anything and it says undefined index name okay let me check out where we have name i believe on this file mm. okay it's going to sign up script but we have to send it to login script not to sign up sign up script so it says invalid credential because we are not putting anything so once it's running the query it's not finding anything equal to this particular entry so let's say come to login script and here say echo mm, you are logged in okay so once i'm going to put the right credentials it's going to say you are logged in so back admin at the rate admin.com your admin it says you are locked in okay so that means it's finding one row uh, that is equivalent to what I have put out here so if I'm putting admin at the red admin.com and the actual password it's running and it's finding okay here is the email here is the password and only one row matches that so go ahead and show something else but uh, this is not something I want to do I'm going to say dollar row would be equal to my SQL fetch array okay then here dollar sql just go ahead and find out uh, like get everything in an array called dollar row then i'm going to say dollar name would be equal to dollar row name okay and the dollar session would be equal to that variable name And if I'll say echo dollar underscore session name and come back here guys you will find something really good I say submit it says admin C so what it's doing is wherever the email is equal to this and password is equal to this it's going to that particular row it's grabbing the name 
under an array called row and then it's passing that particular name to a session and then it's uh, creating a session for that particular user so i'm not going to echo any sessions out here but on the top first i have to say session start in order to create any sessions this is very very necessary and instead of echoing this out i'm going to say mm, echo a okay just uh, like that because uh, it won't be visible to our users but let me show you guys why i'm doing this here i'm going to say if the response is equal to a that will only be equal to a if the person is able to log in and if you are able to create the session then only it's going to echo this a otherwise it's going to echo invalid credentials so if it is equal to a just <coughs> go ahead and redirect that person to a different page say window location index.php okay just just this one out so okay once again admin at the rate admin.com admin is a password okay it says one error let's find out on card exception let's see uh, guys okay, okay okay um that's my bad because we don't say window location like this i believe it will work now okay i think i have to refresh the page or i'll say admin at the rate admin dot com admin as a password jesse and now it's redirecting me to that particular page uh, which i said so but there is one problem if you will see it's still showing a over there what we have to do is i'm going to say divide is success the style would be equal to display none so whatever coming uh, under that particular div that won't be visible so if i say admin at the rate admin.com admin as a password see now that it was not visible and it redirected me to this particular page so guys in our next series we would be creating this index page that i already have don't worry if you guys don't have that what we would be doing in the next video and we would be creating a sign out um, mechanism i would say so see you guys next time